For this assignment, we're going to use a linear regression in Excel. First, we're going to get the data from uh, FRED, uh, the Federal Reserve Depository. Then we're going to get the two series, the T-bill three-month uh, rate and the commercial paper. Finally, we're going to get the change in interest rates on both. And then finally, run the regression and interpret the results of whether there is a significant relationship or not. This is FRED's uh, website. And uh, we're going to uh, type in the to uh, data series and then we click on the search then we want the last five quarters so we change this to the um, five years last five years finally we would like to see the frequency as quarterly um, and we just apply these settings by saving yes yeah, save current and now we have the we have to find the second uh, series so we go to add data series and then we're going to type in here the three month commercial paper add series and what we want from this one again to just change the um, the frequency to quarterly and again we click on save settings and we have both series now in uh, quarterly the next step is to uh, download the data. So we're going to go to export to Excel and uh, we will open the file here into Excel. And this is a raw data that we found from uh, the last 20 quarters, the three months TV and the commercial paper rate. So we're going to find the change. So in this case, we're going to lose one observation because we are uh, finding the change as the new rate minus the old divided by the old rate and we just copy and paste this into the rest of all of both here and um, we have this is the the actual changes finally once we have all this information here we have all the changes in the t bill and the changes in the a commercial paper rate we're going to run the regression so for this you have to uh, have the data um, analysis portion here and in case uh, there's no in there's no uh, sometimes the data analysis tool is not there installed so you have to go to uh, the uh, install it and for this we're going to go to um, file options and then from here we're going to do add-ins and we're going to add the analysis tool pack and just click ok and we should see now the regression tool installed so we go to data analysis then we're going to do regression and uh, we're going to select the um, y range the independent is the um, the dependent variable. I'm sorry, the Y is a dependent variable. Uh, we're looking at the commercial paper rate. And then here, the independent is this one. I'm going just to change the, well, I put labels here, but we're not going to have labels. I'm going to label this regression. Uh, regression and uh, once we do so we get this information here let me show you the other way uh, this is the main uh, regression output for this case and wh what is interpretation so we're looking at whether there is a, a relationship if changes in the t bill can help us explain changes in the commercial paper so this is t bill rate changes and the this is a constant not the intercept so if you were to write this equation it would look like this just a refresher linear uh, regression is just you have um one independent variable in, we call the that one is the x and then we have um constant and a slope so in this case is commercial paper changes is the same as a constant plus the beta of 0.048 uh, times TBL changes. So we know that they, they have a positive relationship. Uh, also, we check about uh, whether it's significant or not. Whenever the p value is less than 0.05, we say there's nothing. The TBL rate changes is not helping us explain the commercial paper uh, rate uh, changes. 
and um, uh, how do you know also because if you look at the upper and lower uh, bound in the confidence intervals the zero is included therefore this is not significant so if you have to write the equation this would be this is the actual equation and there is a positive because the, this coefficient is positive meaning when rebuild, t bill goes up also commercial paper tends to go up but the relationship is not significant so the changes in the t bill is not helping us explain uh, changes in the commercial paper rate for this period